Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Plades and Travels and a very happy Lunar New Year to all of you. Here's my Chinese lantern saying hello. I'm a huge dork. You guys probably know that by now. I wanted to switch my ears because these are the official Parks ears from this year and it might be one of the last times I get to wear them this season. I have done a lot of Lunar New Year coverage on this channel this year, guys, and I've done it the past couple years as well, but I've really embraced it this year because I've been having so much fun with the whole concept and the holiday. And I'm really looking forward to the celebration that is taking place on the day that you're going to see this video is actually Lunar New Year Day. Yay! And I was about to film this. I just put together my pin board, which is what today's video is about. So today's video is going to be my Lunar New Year pin collection. And I'm keeping it to just Lunar New Year. In the past years, I did Mulan, a couple other Hong Kong and Asian pins. No, I am literally keeping it to my Lunar New Year um, themed pins. And I wanted just to showcase because I've had a lot of new ones um, come over the past year as well. And as I was about to film this, I just had a package arrive and it was my missing Hong Kong package. Not missing, but it was one that I wasn't expecting to come until after I filmed this. So now we're going to take a break and I'm going to show you my newest pins to arrive and then I'm going to include them on the pin board and show you the rest of the pin. So let's get into this mail. I'm so excited to see these pins in person as well. Hopefully you are too for Lunar New Year coverage. If you guys want to see the newest pins from around the country, if you guys want to see the newest pins from around the world, not the country, around the world, because I have Shanghai, Hong Kong, Japan, and the United States, then please keep on watching. I love Disney content. This is no different. Let's get into it. Of note, I did already open um, the pin that came in here. It's from Minnie Mouse Shop, so that's already on my pin board. This is a small shop that I've talked about before, and she makes beautiful pins in general, but, or he, um, I think it's a he, actually, but they also make beautiful Lunar New Year pin so I grabbed an extra one this year that I hadn't already gotten so that's my board that's one pin mail package but the other one is this one that says post pack I've never gotten a post pack before but it's a Hong Kong post I think it's like their equivalent of what the USPS mailer would look like and I'm super excited normally I would wait the extra like three days to open this but I am just too eager <gasps> oh seeing this in person it's gorgeous I have a bag in here as well. So there's a shoulder bag. <laughs> I can just wear it for the video. All right, let's get into it. This person also had a, um, a shoulder bag that I said I would like to. So I have to take the tag off of this, but this is what the bag looks like. And it's just like fluffy red Mickey pouch that's red all over, perfect for Lunar New Year. And this was um, already in hand by the personal shopper that I bought all these from. Her name is HK Disneylandism, or his name. I'm not really sure if it's a girl or boy, actually. But um, yeah, HK Disneylandism is the Instagram handle that I use. And this is a Hong Kong Disneyland shoulder bag. It says the price was originally 219 Hong Kong dollars. I'll have to figure out what that is. Um, but I really appreciated the seller because they are just charging the actual price of what it is, um, whatever the pickup retail price is, plus the PayPal fee and shipping and that's basically their cost so i thought that was crazy i was like that's just such a great deal for someone like me who's obsessed with getting overseas merch oh my gosh it's gold on the inside i love all of this so i have a beautiful new lunar new year mickey pouch but i can wear this whenever too it's nice bright and red and i didn't have anything like this so it's so fluffy i love it so she had this or she or he I apologize, but they had this posted on their stories one day saying, who wants it? And I said, I'll, I'll take it and got a great deal on it. So that's exciting. And to the pin content, these are Ellie pins that were just released for Lunar New Year this year. Oh, in addition to it, there's also some candy in here. Aw, there's a Toy Story. There's two different Toy Story candies that they put in here. It's from Hong Kong Disneyland and it's like a, like a gummy almost and I have two of them that is really cool so I have two extra gummies with my package as well okay now on to the pins I'm gonna save the jumbo to last so I'll show you the Mickey one that I saw that I wanted and I'm so excited oh my gosh Hong Kong Disneyland 15 because they're celebrating their 15th anniversary this year and it says 2021 with the cow symbol on the on the O or the zero and it's got a beautiful symbol at the bottom that I think says happy new year it has Mickey holding a bunch of flowers and Minnie as well. And she's looking up at him so adoringly. This is such a gorgeous pin. I love that. That is beautiful. And that will be a nice addition to my pin board. So that is pin number one. And it says it was 149 Hong Kong dollars. Limited edition of 600. And then the jumbo. And this is another Hong Kong 
release this year, except this one was specifically for annual pass holders. So over there, they call it Magic Access Exclusive. I'm pretty sure that's their, their annual pass holder program. So this was an AP pin, and oh my goodness, it's got like such beautiful detail. It's almost looks like Chinese symbols, but it's like Mickey Mouse in that. So like right here, it's like a Mickey Mouse figure with the Chinese characters. That's so delicate and pretty. And there's <laughs> there's Dale on the bottom with it holding up an orange, which is part of the Lunar New Year culture. Is you you give out oranges. It's one of the things that you help to celebrate the holiday. And then there's Chip on the other side. Um, and I can see Donald and Daisy embracing lovingly. Goofy is taking a photo. There's Clarabelle holding a flower because it's the year of the cow, <laughs> the oxen. Oh my gosh, this is so cute though. I love this design so much. Look how pretty that jumbo is. And I'm just doing a quick close up and I'll give you a better one look when I put this on my pin board, but. And when you open it up, it's like a watercolor. A nice washed out watercolor there and it's got some Chinese characters going down the center as well oh this is all just so pretty this is beautiful cherry blossoms in the air a butterfly two butterflies gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and this was a le of 500 and the back is just all in gold and says limited edition of 500 so this is so nice. Okay, I am gonna take this off the backer card because I think it's gonna be too big for the space that I have on my pin board existing. But now I'm gonna flip it around, show you guys my actual pin board with all my Lunar New Year pins. Let's get into it. Love my new pins, yay. So as I begin to film this, I wanna say that I just looked at the HK Disneylandism package and it actually says it was signed by Crystal. So Crystal is indeed a girl. So let's just keep that in mind that she's a girl, not a guy. Sorry for that. Crystal, if you were to see my video. So before I get into it, I made this shimakazari. It's a Japanese um, tradition. It's like a braided rope that you put up usually above your doorway to ward off bad spirits and invite the gods in. And I think usually around mid-January, so I could be wrong about this, but I think mid-January you would actually burn this off to send it off. Um, so I wouldn't still have this, but I just made it. So I'm showing it in my Lunar New Year video anyway. And I had three different braided ropes that I put together to make together as one Mickey shape, something fun and festive. This is um, traditional in Japanese culture, so I wanted to share that and have some nice beaded elements. Okay, so this is the entirety of the board. Let's start from the top and work our way down. At the very edge, right here and across on the other side, I have these envelopes that I got recently from a box, and it was the Lunar New Year keychain mystery set from Japan this year. You can see it's dated 2021. And I just thought the envelopes for the keychain were so pretty, so I decided to put it on the board. Um, right next to that, I have a couple of Mulan-themed pins on here, but not too many because I honestly didn't think that they really went with the Lunar New Year theme. I wanted to keep this strictly a Lunar New Year or New Year themed um, board. So this is a China um, pin for mystery set for uh, the, food and, the Food and Wine Festival in Epcot and I do have this pin because I do like that it has a nice deep red color and says China on it. Below that is one of the mystery pins. It's Pluto from a Shanghai Disney mystery Lunar New Year set from I believe two years ago now, maybe three years ago, and I traded for that one. Um, over here I have also put all of the ones that are on the backer cards or the ones from this year so I can kind of remember to categorize them later on my tracking system. But this is a brand new pin from this year. It was just released in Disneyland and Disney World in the United States. You can see it does say Happy New Year 2021. Has a castle and other like fun icons that represent the attractions at Disney. And at the bottom it has a nice silver gilded ox because it is the year of the ox. And then it also says pass holder. Sorry, it's hard to read this with the light right there. Um, but it does say pass holder has hidden Mickey's in the chain of it. So that is this year's pass holder pin for annual pass holders. And I do have that one limited release for 2021. Um, next to that is a Hong Kong pin. And I just have it because I got it from Hong Kong Disney from a live seller. And I actually love boba so much. And this is like a stitch boba. So I thought that might be kind of fun and festive to add onto my pin board. I have that and my actual boba drink um, pin that I got from Box Lunch. Um, this is the pin that I just showed you. These two are right here. They're my newest pins to add to this. And that's the jumbo, once again, a nicer look at that beautiful jumbo magic access exclusive for this year. I love the top and the cherry blossoms on that and the sparkly glitter. It's just beautiful. 
I love that there are actual pinks and purples in this pin. And this pin, um, I love that it's also a hinge pin and opens up. Whenever I see those, I have to get them. So that is the pin once again. Gorgeous, stunning. Love the colors on that with the pastels, and it has a nice little tassel. Next to that is the 2021 Year the Ox pin with Mickey and Minnie. Beautiful Hong Kong Disneyland 15 backer card because this is the 15th anniversary. Um, next to that, we have the Happy New Year pin, and this was another limited release pin released this year, as well as in Shanghai Disney, and it came here to the United States. It says Happy New Year 2021 of Mickey and Minnie riding the ox, and I did get this from the parks. I have above that a Dale Hong Kong Disney Lunar New Year themed sticker that was given to me at some point a couple years ago, and I love it so much, so of course it had to go on this pin board. This is a Stella Lou pin. Um, one of the few pins that's on here that's not Lunar New Year themed, but I like that she's in purple and wearing the traditional outfit, so I put her on here as well. She used to have a red Chinese tassel similar to this, but it broke off. My son unfortunately broke it last year, so the tassel is sitting in a box, and I haven't quite yet figured out how to reattach it because you can see it broke off. But she's beautiful. She's supposed to have that tassel as well connected to her. Um, and then over here is another one of those envelopes. Um, next to that, I have the newest pin that I just got from Benny Mouse Shop is this Lunar New Year themed pin that she, that they made themselves. And it's a nice black with the, you can see all like the cherry blossoms in the background. I love this color. I didn't previously have the black version. I did get the red. So this is the red version right here as well. I think they're beautiful pins. And since that keeps falling, but since the black was just released, I went ahead and got it. As I'm keeping this vertical, the keychains that I had on the side keep um, unattaching themselves. I'm just going to keep on going. It's too hard of a hassle to film otherwise. Um, over here is another new pin that I haven't shown on my channel just yet. It is a Shanghai Disney release from a mystery set from last year. I think this pin is beautiful. I love the, um, the symbolism of it, and I love the nice pastels in the background as well. And of course, this is a Gus Gus and Jock pin, and I love Cinderella. I wanted to represent them on this pin board, so that's why they are on here. This is a cat pin, a Japanese cat pin that I got from Daiso. They had a two pin set, so I decided to put it on this board. It came with this pin and then this little like bell right there. Um, below the cat is a Happy New Year pin from last year, I believe. This was the, yeah, this was from two years ago. Excuse me. This is from the Year of the Pig, so. It was 2019's annual pass holder pin, and I was super excited to get that because I was all about the year of the pig. That was the first year I really got into Litter New Year on this channel, as you guys remember. This is one of those mystery keychains that I showed I got from Japan. I decided just to glue them on here. And then below here is one of the few non-Lunar New Year pins, but it does say Walt Disney World Happy New Year. And since this is a New Year pin board, I wanted to put my New Year pins on here as well. So this pin does reveal Cinderella and Prince Charming when you open it, and they're inside the clock. Gorgeous pin. I love that it does say Happy New Year along the side, and then on the interior as well. Interior says 2019 Happy New Year. Beautiful pin I was able to trade for, so that is on here. This is one of my red envelopes. Traditionally, in Lunar New Year, you give them to children and young people, um, and you fill them with money. So it's a kind of a way to just say best wishes, Happy New Year, hope that you... Um, continue to have prosperity and wealth in the future. So I do like that tradition. I do have the red envelopes all throughout um, this dis decor. You can see there's one up there. I have some on right there, the Year of the Ox one that I got from Chinatown. So I love these. I got this one from Dyson recently, decided to add it to my pin board. Um, these are the Mulan ones over here, I think. I have one Mulan pin here. It's a 20th anniversary pin of Mulan that I got, and I just like that it, um, it's a Hong Kong pin. So this uh, part swivels around, but also it's on here because it's nice deep red with some cherry blossoms. Goes well with the theming. This is the other Mulan pin that I have. It's kind of a replica from Crack and Trade of the um, one that came released from Disney Parks, from the Disney Employee Center. And I would love to have that pin someday. Don't have it. I only have the keychain um, lanyard for cast members, so I'll just have to dream instead. And then this is a China Pavilion pin that was released um, in Epcot, and I have that one on here as well. So all the ones representing China a little bit are the ones from Mulan that I do have on this board. Otherwise... Let's move on. Um, over here, I have a Year of the Cow pin from 2009. You can see it does have Clarabelle there, and there's Mickey and Minnie, and there's little, um, those are the Japanese statue figurines that are so popular in the Japanese culture. This is a Japanese pin. It does say Happy Moo Year, not New Year, but Happy Moo Year, 2009. Very cute. And so I have this one that I was able to get in the past. I love Japanese pins, and that is one of many that I have on here. In addition to that, I have... 
I have this one. This is also brand new this year. It is a 2016 Tokyo Disney Resort pin for Lunar New Year. And I actually went to Tokyo that year and didn't have any pins that year. So I was so happy to find this one on eBay. Um, and we went back and forth and I bid on it. And I'm so glad that she was able to sell this to me because I love this pin. A beautiful pin indeed. And then the other Tokyo pin that I have is right over here. It's a 2019 Year of the Pig Lunar New Year pin. And I had to grab that. There was one released this year. And for whatever reason... I don't know if it just sold out really fast or if people weren't selling it online really this year because of the pandemic, but I had such trouble trying to find it. So I do not have this year's 2021 pin. Unfortunately, I did try to get it because I thought it was really pretty, but hopefully I'll come back and get some more Japanese pins in the future because I love them. Speaking of Japanese pins, this is another Japan pin that I have down here. It's of Donald that I got um, from a live sale, I believe, and I just love that. It's actually a springtime festival outfit that he's um, commemorating there and then below that are two other Japanese pins that I got for free um from another live seller and one says Okinawa and the other one is of Mickey and I think he's like they're like street vendors basically um this is what typical what you would find in street food in Japan and I remember that dearly so I did like to include that on this pin board just cute and then this little red emblem with the Mushu dragon is from the mystery box is from Box Lunch and I do have that one from Mulan on here as well um, over here, I have a lot of the Chinese Zodiac pins. This was the first series of Chinese Zodiac pins released in the parks. And I have Mickey, which I just recently traded for, Piglet, Tigger, Maximus, and Pluto. I love this set so much. This is just a sticker next to it, by the way, that I got from Daiso. I love this so much, but because um, I was trying to get the Year of the Ox, I and I couldn't include it down here, I moved it up here and we have it right there. There is the babe, the blue ox in this year. I love it. I tried so hard to get this pin for the year, the ox, and I was able to find it from a trade. So thank you to the person who traded with me. She had a bunch of Chinese Zodiac pens that I didn't have and also had Mushu. So now I have Mushu as well. So not a bad trade at all. Next to that, I have a Happy New Year pin. This one's actually from last year. It does say 2020 there. And this was last year's pin. You can see the beautiful, colorful dragon with Mickey and Minnie, and I think it's really gorgeous. So that was a actual open edition, or not open edition, but the one that just anyone could get in Disney parks, but gorgeous pin. Going back, I'm jumping around. Next to the Moo pin, I have the Happy New Year Disneyland pin that was released um, in 2020. You guys can see up there it says 2020. And so I did get that one with the stars, and you can see that the stars do jingle and move around. So that's kind of a fun, festive aspect. And the one of Ka right there is a WDI pin from the, it's a cast member pin. And it kind of is a Chinese Zodiac design. So that's why it's on here as well. I love that. It's one of my few um, Jungle Book pins, LE250. Down here, I have one of the um, Mulan fan pins from Hot Topic. I just like the colors on that one again. So that's here. I have this grand opening Tokyo Disney Sea pin and my Hong Kong Disneyland Hotel one, just because I thought they had nice detail to add to my Lunar New Year board. This is a Hong Kong Disneyland pin from 2019 you can see it has the three little pigs so i was able to get that one as well from hong kong i love that he's holding like a dumpling um so i i do have that in my collection and i decided to put my older lunar new year pins on here as well as the newer ones in the center is a pin that i have shown the past couple years it still remains one of my favorites it's from shanghai disney and it's got this beautiful red door um, motif the doors starting to come a little unhinged but it's got two mickey doors that when it stays closed there we go it looks beautiful with Mickey and Minnie, and you can see Mickey is holding a pig, piggy bank, because this was for the year of pig as well. And this was another magic exclusive type of pin, I believe, that you could only get in a, maybe not magic exclusive, but it was only available to people who got the lucky bags for this year. If you got this pin in a lucky bag, you just were happy to be lucky. Shanghai Disney Resort 2019. Do I have an Ellie size on here? It doesn't tell me. I think the backer card does, though, because like I said, this was only available if you got the lucky bag. But what's so cool is that when you open it up, it's got a nice rose gold sheen and it has Goofy with Pluto with the little Chinese lantern. And they were trying to hang it up and Donald and this beautiful font right here. 2019. It's almost like a mirror when you go close to this. So it's just a really beautiful design. And of course, you've got the hidden Mickey with up there. So I just thought this was a really beautiful pin. It still remains one of my favorite pins in my entire collection, not just my Lunar New Year collection. I just think it's a beautiful pin. Moving beyond that, I'm going to go to this year's Lunar New Year sets. 
and that's right here. This one up here is actually from Hong Kong, and these three are from Shanghai. I haven't even shown those yet to, in your unboxing, um, but I have that coming on my channel. But this I got from my first unboxing was Minnie, Mickey, the Year of the Ox, Ox one, which is amazing to get that for this board. I do think that's my, one of my favorites. And then Stitch. And then I just opened another series of boxes, and I did get some duplicates, but among them, I was able to get this Donald. And I just realized I don't have Pluto on here. Oh my goodness, what was I thinking? Okay, I had to quickly add him, but here is Pluto. I just traded for him yesterday with someone local. Um, she was lo really looking for Goofy, which I did have, um, and I unboxed. But since she had Pluto, and I collect Pluto in general, I decided to trade with her. But I think he's beautiful, and it's different because he's a nice, different color scheme. Goofy was the same color scheme as Donald. And since I already had that blue and orange going on in this collection... I thought adding the yellow of Pluto and his cuteness might be fun, but Goofy was cute too, I'm not going to lie. So that is this year's Hong Kong and now released in the States. So now the United States, both California and Disney World have this set as well. But below that is a similar but slightly different set from Shanghai Disney. You guys can see that I got the Minnie Mouse. I got either Chip or Dale. I'm not sure because the nose isn't painted. And then I have Donald and... I just think they're beautiful and they're stunning, and you can see with many, they're very similar, but the difference is that with the Shanghai set, it's more of a glossy pop-out effect where they're more 3D. So the enamel is painted differently, and that is really the difference. The Hong Kong and US set is a flatter finish, but there you go. That's the difference. That's this year's Lunar New Year mystery pins that I got so far, and that's lots of fun. Down here is a cherry blossom pin, also from Benny Mao Shop. And that one's more springtime-esque, but it's on here as well because it goes with the same aesthetic as the Lunar New Year pins. And I just think it's a really pretty pin. Um, and then down here, finally, is one of my newest um, um, additions to my collection. It is a pink envelope set from Hong Kong Disney. I think the intention of that is just to put money in it, just like with the red envelopes. But it was so pretty and festive that I had to go ahead and get these packets. They call them packets. So if anyone knows what packets are and if there's a difference between packets and the red envelopes, please let me know. I'm assuming they have the same um, intention, but I'm not 100% sure. But I thought they were beautiful and I wanted to add to my collection, so I did order that and it came just in time for this video. And that is everything on this pin board. The only other thing that I don't have on here is um, these are just buttons that I've collected. And these specifically were from the Lunar New Year um, festival in California Adventure. They used to give those out when you ordered food. So I have them on this pin board. And then over here is an AP annual pass holder button that I had from 2019 for Lunar New Year. Decided to add that onto my two official lanyards. But that's my collection. Hopefully you guys enjoy seeing all the fun new pins. I have a lot of new additions this year. Oh, it fell again. But I have a lot of new additions this year and I just love Lunar New Year so much. So thank you guys so much for being part of this with me, the celebration. I'll have my Mandarin orange treat right here, my Lunar New Year gift card, another red envelope, and this is the set that the Shanghai Disney set came in. Such a beautiful silk cloth uh, envelope, but gorgeous pins. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Thanks so much. Me and my purse are gonna go on a walk now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I decided to do another ear change, and I'm wearing the ears from 2019. Yay! <laughs> so Lunar New Year's from the park, um, Lunar New Year ears from the park. 2019 and I'm just getting them all out in this video or in all my series of videos since I hadn't actually shown this one this year either um but that is it from today hope you guys enjoyed seeing all my pins as well as my new mail this was a nice surprise because I literally forgot this was on its way and I love it they actually had a um a floor rug released in Hong Kong as well that was just this shape but larger and I was so close to buying it but I didn't but oh it's so fluffy and soft and I love it um but at any rate happy Lunar New Year to everyone uh, I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I leave you with Xin Yan Kuai Le. In addition to this, I also have another pin tag coming out this weekend, so if you like pin videos, stay tuned for that content. Bye, guys.